Hello, welcome back to Google Brand Tricity Live Noting. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this Pulga Physics modular nodes and additional nodes to Svechov. And Victor Dolfo actually made uh, this thread. And you can take a look and at the examples, although they can be slightly um, intimidating at first. It's actually um, not that complicated. So in this in this example here, uh, he has this surface that's been populated using the Pulga physics particles. I think that's what's going on. So you got a bunch of nodes that kind of modular now, and you can kind of mix and match them together to create a solver. So in the past, if you are using the Pulga physics, it's um, it's like a single um, node. So if you search Pulga Physics, now you have Pulga Physics Solver and you have the old one. So the, in the old one, it's a single node with all these options, hundreds of options. But now you have just a simple solver. And all the options, you're just going to mix and match using these nodes. So it can be simpler at time can be quite complicated it depends on how familiar you are with this kind of node system so let's start with something so file save s sp puga modular so it's, this is going to be my first look into this so we need some kind of initial positions i will use vector p field so this guy by default is just a bunch of nodes. Okay, let's make it four by four by four. Okay, sixty-four points. I'm just gonna plug this as initial position for Pulga physics solver. So it's gonna be behaving like particles. So let's see. And <clears throat> in order for this to work. We, we might need to plug in frame into iterations. And we need some kind of forces. Oh, there's this, this initial velocity. And but let's see what's going to happen if I plug in something to the force. But we need one of these force, right? We have plenty. If you hover over each and every force you're gonna have a little bit of explanations so drag vector maybe we need to use vector at first and we can maybe push our particles in a certain directions okay so that's the default right it's moving up because by default this vector is pointing up zero zero one Maybe we can make it zero, one, zero. You can guess this gonna push it in the positive y axis. Okay, so how can we can we make like a random random vector? Maybe by using random vector and make it sixty four. Just plug this here. There we go. That's actually okay, that's random vector. So that's uh, that's quite easy to understand. There's this radius. I think with Pulga physics, it you can imagine each particle as a sphere, and each sphere can collide with each other. So so I might at some point use the Pulga physics. Uh, collision force. Although I tested it, I tested this earlier, and it seems like there might be a bug. I don't know. It might be that I'm not 100% familiar yet. So I was expecting this to work, but every time I plug in collision force, it gives an error. So I don't know why. So don't use this for now. 
let's try using other things like uh, something catch my eyes is actually this um, obstacles and boundaries boundaries actually sounds really interesting so it can create some kind of boundary so your particles will always be on a sphere surface or mass surface or volume we can try with the sphere surface just plug it in so, so what's going to happen now? okay so at the start all the particles is already sticking sticking to the sphere surface we can adjust the radius but as I play the simulations all the points kind of moving while sticking on the surface um, maybe okay well this we have this force that's kind of pushing it in the y positive y directions how about if we use a random random force okay we have random force here just plug it here so now our particles kind of just floating around randomly while sticking to the surface of the particles so that's pretty cool so I play around with this <coughs> I think 1000 particles should be pretty it's quite plenty or just use 6x6x6 by six by six for now this is already quite a lot so I kind of wish the collision work so we can kind of stick the particles together I kind of make them colliding so it's, it started to behave like um, like particles uh, what do you call it particle with a little bit of behavior so most of the time with the simulations like this you want to plug in drag drag force you can do that as well so so the value eventually the particles will stop moving I think with the drag kind of settling down I believe Victor actually use it uh, for creating architecture kind of work um, in my case I, I just wanna to make something interesting you know like with, the, with the particle animations and with this vertices positions you can of course use this with things like icosphere for example and then mess viewer so like I said, the, the pulga will have radius by default, radius of 1. So supposedly, I think it's colliding. For now, it's not colliding, it's just it's particles. This is the radius, maybe I should make this smaller. 0.1. So they are just behaving like particles right now. Be careful this is gonna generate a lot of objects maybe it's a good idea to merge it or just simply use it with instancing okay so that's uh, pretty clear let's look at other forces angle attractor so the thing that I might try next in the next video maybe attractions and attractors I don't know exactly what that is you can try now so this might attract the, partic uh, the particles into one point it's kind of nice mm. With maximum distance if I set it to 2 a little bit of decay it's gonna be attracted into one point okay yeah 
so that makes sense that's attracting the particles um, sphere okay other than sphere there's this mass surface so I want to try that as well mass surface or mass volume try surface first we need some kind of objects to attract to create a torus plug this in so now it's attracted to the torus surface so we have quick way to have points on surface we can also use mass volume so it's gonna create a it's gonna stay inside the torus I think that's what's going on we have box it's a bounding box this is not this is not 100 percent really easy to understand maybe we need to have bounding box and vertices yeah so this is inside the bounding box of this random point but I'm for now I think it's just use the sphere volume okay So random forces easy to understand what else do we have inflate mm, align fit thin volume uh, thin force straight force spring a oh, spring might be interesting maybe just plug it in spring it's gonna be have a bit like cloth maybe Oh yeah, it's, it's expecting a number. The spring seems to stop everything from moving, so I don't know. Maybe that's also something I need to take a look properly. So force attraction inflate attracts vector force. So with a vector of course you can oh this is nice. It's pushing it up strength of one maybe point one so it can still be random while it's moving up and it's gonna stick to the sphere so this one <coughs> this one makes sense you can change the value over time and on top of this we can always use so instead of random, we can use maybe vector turbulence or even field. Vector field uh, formula. Oh, maybe we cannot use this. But this noise can be plugged in, and the noise is expecting vertices, which can come from our vector P field. So what happened? Okay. So we have this vector turbulence that's affecting our particles. I think the 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 force itself cannot go over one. So we have random force, we have the boundary force, and lastly, vector turbulence. We can randomize the seed to get different results.
Yeah, so for now, the one that doesn't work, um, collisions, spring. So this is a mystery. There's also, I think, self collision. I don't know. I think this is this is self collision, but it doesn't seem to work. Maybe I need to ask Victor. But for now, I think this is uh, should be pretty clear to get you started. If you want to use this Pulga physics solver, so it's almost a little bit like Houdini with solver, uh, and Pulga physics is pushing and pulling, like mm, I think like a balls, like a radius, something with radius. So all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to study this a bit more. So maybe at least creating something like this. But you can just follow the notes here and end up with something like this. So it's like a circle, or it's a it's a balls that's packed closely with each other. So none of, none of them is colliding, and it makes the fall. Okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much pretty much it. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.